We're hitting you in the nostalgic feels on this episode of the Bakery Run. We're back in Tamaki Makoto with the good bro Matt Gibb. And I don't give a stuff what you say about this bakery because he reckons it's good. We asked for Spike the Penguin. Unfortunately, we got stuck with the bro Matt here. But anyway, hope you enjoy this episode of Le Bakery Run. This is the spot. I hope I don't let you down because I've been building this up. I mean, these are good pies, but imagine you've eaten a lot of pies. So. Yeah, but hey. So this is the pie that I dreamed about for years after not having them for about six years when I lived in Australia. Okay. Then I come home and I find out the fridge is shut. It's gone. It's for good. It's horrible. So the, the pie's gone, right? Mm. I got a hot tip on Twitter that they were making them. Okay. Here, and that is the pie. That's this the one. is the pie. This is the pie. The creamy chicken mushroom okay, pie. Okay, can we get two of those creamy uh, chicken creamy mushroom pies, please? Yeah. Yeah, we are having here, yes please. Yeah. Uh, you're a sweet guy at all? Sweet, I have everything, man. What about a chocolate brownie? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. Can we get two chocolate brownies, please? Yeah. That's all, thank Just you. Oh, you're not getting all of that. Come on, brother. Come hey, on. you've given me a lot of memories in my life, bro. <laughs> it's, it's the least I can do. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, only $28 worth. Oh, hey, hey. Yeah, cheap. <laughs> cheap for quality, eh? <laughs> there we go, bro. There we go. Going Let's outside. Let's get outside, eh? Okay. Uh, cutlery. No, no, we'll be fine. We've got two. Ah, okay. Jeez, blast for me here. Cutlery, man. It's a fancy place. Where have you taken it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, he used hands. All right, come on. Jeez. The first time you had this, were you like, man, this is like, this is it. This is my, this is my memory. Yeah, it brought it right back. Like, as soon as I took that first bite, I'm like, I transported back to like 2004, 2005. I'm hanging out with Dana from Studio Two. We're at the fridge. just like, oh. It was massive. I'm get, like, out, get out of here, Gordon. But you know Give what? away, Gordon. <laughs> but you know what smell can do for a memory? Yeah. And as soon as I took my first bite, I'm like, yeah, it literally took me back 10 years. Uh, the consistency of the of the filling, like it's always full. It's always got that creamy, that pesto -y kind of a little yeah. tinge oh, to it. A little, well. a, a little pesto. Just I like a little pesto. Something like a little... Mm, just a, just yep. a little twitch. Just yep. a little... But, you know, I just, yeah, it was basically like this nostalgia for me. Because those are some of the best years of my life. You know? Well, I mean, nostalgia. You've you brought a lot of nostalgia to, to, to myself. <laughs> to a lot of people. Like, Have you had like a weird place where somebody's been like, Hey man, it's... Where's Squirt or, or where's Spike? <laughs> Any of that stuff? Do you know what happens like 99% of the time? It's like someone will yell out, Sticky TV! And I'm like, that's the wrong show! Oh, come on. They had real good branding though, like Studio 2 was just a terrible name I reckon. So, but Squirt on the other hand, yeah, people remember Squirt, but they've even got to be it, of a certain vintage. Even into my adult years I remember Squirt. <laughs> yeah. well, that's a, that's, that's, a, a, different, different that's a different show. Don't that's, ask. That's a category, don't not a show. Don't ask about how many kids. <laughs> Back to the pie. Yeah. Okay. okay. This has a very, like just looking at it, very strong texture. Yeah, yeah, it's got a good base to it, right? Like you've got a solid base, that yes. thing's not going to fall apart. Also the, with a connection between, yeah. you can tell, like nothing's getting out of that. Exactly, there's no leakage at the moment. Nothing. All yeah. right. I'd classify this as a car pie. Like this is a pie Ooh. you can eat in the car without worrying too much about it, like jizzing like all over there. your pants. You know like what I mean? Like what you did there yeah. with the car pie. Yeah. Very oh, Tiriel Maori pie. going on. Car pie. Yeah, now, okay, so normally what we do, I mean, you, yep. you know, you're yep. a fan of I've the, seen show. the show. But Two bites and yep. we'll see how we go, eh? Good luck. Right, cheers it up, right? mate. Let's go. I mean, I'm happy instantly, oh, but. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. Look at how full that is. Get some mushroom in there. I did get some mushroom. Yeah, just I hope you got end. some chicken in there. I did get some chicken. Okay. It's the first bite. I mean, that's every element. You got your creamy, you got your pesto, you got your mushroom, you got your chicken. Man. What do you okay. think? I'm... Dude, it's kind of taking me back. It's not your kind of, it's not your sort of standard pie, is it? Like, this no, wouldn't be a flavour you'd go for in this. It's a good thing, though. This, yeah. You know, we need, we need some variety. We're opening you up to a whole new world, right? I'll tell you what, the top of this mm. reminds me of the, the, the classic Georgie pie. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like it's tough, and nothing's getting out of it. But it's it's got a good, I don't know what the um, wash on it what it is, but the egg wash or whatever. Yeah, it's got a good bounce to it as well, right? Yeah, real good very bounce. Good. I'm gonna take a white and the little one. sesame seeds, a little bit mm. accoutrement. A little, oh, 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 yeah, little oh, oh. something. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know, another element that I like mm. is that it's actually like whole pieces of mush uh, mushroom. Yeah, true. Yeah. You know, normally when they dice it up, tuck it yeah, in. Yeah. Oh, it's really thin. It's no, these are slices, yeah. You get the texture. Mm. Mm. I do get the pesto, the herbs in it. This was just this my a, standard hungover Sunday morning pie. This is a uh, memorable pie. Yeah. It's right the same. Okay. Out of 10, bro, you go first. Because obviously these have, you know, regional varieties as well. Like not every pie is the same every week. I come here quite often. Mm. This specific pie that I'm eating right now, it's right up there. Yep. In terms of consistency, the, the you know the pastry has been perfectly baked. I'm giving it an eight out of ten. Oh, you're going with eight? I'm giving it an eight out of ten. I'm gonna I'm gonna go a nine for this one. 
And I'll tell you what, and it's not because I'm trying to impress you because you're, you, you're, the, you're the man of my childhood. <laughs> you were my dad for a little while when he wouldn't come home from the dairy. No, 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 no. <laughs> but, uh, here's the thing is, it, I, 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 love, I love the top. Mm. Because there's a top bit, and you get this with a lot of pies, and a lot of pies are like that. You get the top and then you'll get this, this thin layer yeah. that's quite thin, you know, and, it, and it's, it's almost like a safety about right but this here is actually really nice it does remind me of a georgie pie yeah 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 and even the, the edges the edges remind me of georgie pie too because it's it's stiff and it's hard you get a bit of crunch in it yeah it's nice i'm gonna go it's with just a nine. perfectly crafted yeah, it is i mean i'm, I'm, I'm pushing one up to nine as there well we of course i'm pushing it. i had to i was making sure i didn't want to you know what if he so i'm happy safeguarding now. yeah okay let's go let's get i want some more of this What's the weirdest, like, somebody that's gone, mate, I grew up with you, man? It happens in the weirdest places. I was just telling you before, I was in Rome, like, with um, on holiday. Had just bumped into some mates from Sydney, which was weird enough. Like, that was a big coincidence. And then five minutes later, we're in a bar having some drinks, and I hear across the bar, squirt! Oh. It's like this group of dudes, these young guys, are all on holiday. So I'm in the middle of Rome in a dive bar back in, like, a side alley. It's, I'm never supposed to be here anyway. And then all of a sudden, I'm getting recognised from Squirt 20 years ago, so that, that was weird. But yes, yeah, it's, it's weird when people that I kind of look up to and, and respect all of a sudden they're like, oh, I used to love you. But I remember meeting Stacey, jo uh, not Stacey, uh, Sean Johnson yeah. for the first time when he'd just come through into the Warriors. I met him at the New Zealand Music Awards. And I was like fanboying over Sean Johnson, like this you know, Reciprocal? hot step. And he, he watched the show, he comes up, he's like, oh, I love you. Man. I was like, this is nuts, say. man. This is SJ's nuts. a squirt fan. Let's get into this yeah. brownie, eh? Let's, okay. let's get <laughs> yeah. it, yeah. Save let's... me, right? Let's get into the brownie. Brownies. Yes. Hit or miss sometimes, right? Yes. What's your, um, what's your green flags when it comes to a brownie? Are you talking green flags and brownies? Are you trying to set what me is... up for something else <laughs> as well? Is this, is this definitely from the shop? Is this... No, I'm saying, what's the... No. I'm saying, what is the things that you're like, this is, this has to have okay. excellent. A little bit of crunch to the edge of it. It's got to have that little kind of hard shell. This one definitely seems to have a little bit of crunch to the top, a little texture, you know? I do like little, I do like bits in it. And like this already, you can kind of see the moisture on the bottom. You can feel it's dense. Let's get into it, eh? Mm. Oh, wow. Soft. I mean. Very soft. Yeah, got enough moisture. Mm. And bits as well, there's some chunky mm. bits of chips. Good brownie. Mm, it's a good brownie. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is good. This is a good, solid brownie. I'd put this on my lunch for the day. Yeah. Mm. If, if this turns up in your lunchbox, if mum packs that in your, in your lunchbox, you know, it gets to 10.30 mm. and you're starting to break it out, Happy you're not minute. upset, right? No, not at all. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a generous seven. Yeah, because I was thinking the same. I was thinking seven and a half because it's like, it's everything you need in the brownie without doing anything over the top. Yes. Because sometimes it's it's hit or miss. Yeah. You can go, to, you can put too much in it, mm. then it's like it loses the moisture. Yeah. Then you can not put enough in it. And yeah. I think it could just be extra little bit. This feels like it's just like a solid working men's brownie, you know? Mm. Like it's not trying to be anything that it's not. Yes. It's not all hoity toity. No, it's just not delivering all a brownie to the boys yeah. when they need the brownie the most. Man, I, I was thinking about bringing chocolate fish to you, but I thought, oh, hey. I mean, that was the penguin thing. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pop, yeah, you know, I can't get them to get I'd have to go and send them off to Spike, you know. Yeah, but yeah. hey, yeah, what is he doing? Well, he's in there? rehab at the moment, man. He's not doing well, eh? He's having a real tough time, bro. Right. Yeah. Some of the, man. He keeps on calling me up. I'm like, mate. Enough is enough. I can't help you anymore. Yeah. You know? like, yeah. Is there any truth to the rumors that he's, he's actually just, he's just a pimp? <laughs> he's just pimping, pimping the ones at Kelly Tolton's. He goes into Kelly Tolton's every week and he's like, hey, where's my fish, motherfucker? <laughs> hey, give me my fish. Very, per very permissive. Oh, no, 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 they're not promiscuous. Oh, no, they mate for life. Yeah, they are. But if they do, if there's... Do they mate for life? I Is that... You should, if there's anybody they should know. It's well, you. Spike wasn't mate. Actually, Spike never even had a No, nah, I bet partner. Spike was out, out every every Saturday with you, bro. Just getting out. Tearing up to the Eden City. <laughs> 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 Tear it out on the yeah, scarfy right. girls, eh? This guy tries to make out like he was watching me when he was a kid. Hey, ah, hey, excuse hey, me, hey, Tim, hey, how, hey. how do we figure this out? You were... Hey, I'm, <laughs> look at how me, old I'm were you when you were watching this. Squirt? I'm you still wearing like, a screen, hey, right here, like, you know? You must have been like 16 when you were watching Squirt. Hey, hey, that's hey, a little old, really that's like, that's getting on the verge really of like, what are you doing watching kids TV? <laughs> Bro, that's the best time. There's going to be a lot of anime people out there that are going to be flaming you right now on the Yeah, yeah. These 50 year old anime fans. I, I'm never coming for you, Tom. I, I, I all love, all love. You know I'm a big fan of yours. Hey, thank you so much, my bro. <laughs> Cheers.